Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet and today you join me in another Hornby review. We're back for part two of our very special Hornby review. Last time the engine we reviewed was the Black 5, so today it's time to get Bitten out of its box and get her ready for testing. I'm really excited, I mean I have to be honest, I actually did get this out of its box and tested it before actually recording this video, so um, it's not actually really an unboxing, I've already unboxed it and um, tested it but I just, I just wanted to make sure if it works I mean I hope you guys do understand because believe it or not this is actually the second bit and I've got because I explained in my other video that um, that Hornby uh, no, not Hornby. Uh, the Hornby shop in Eastleigh uh, gave me a bitten, but it was um, it was a factory error and the rods got caught up. I, said, I explained all of this in my other video. I mean, if you guys want to like go back to the other Hornby video and then just watch it, and I, I, I've, I've explained it all, so I don't need to explain it again. But I'm really excited to actually get this out of its box, and I, mean, I am going to fit a uh, digital sound chip uh, in this model as well, so we guys have to look forward to that. So let's get this out of this box, and let's have a good long look at this A4. Really excited. Let's see what she can do. So here we go, another one-to-one -one collection. <laughs> it looks fantastic in its box, I do have to say. And I so said this is a collector's, uh, not collector's, it's a limited edition, sorry. It's a limited edition, they only made a thousand of these. And the last bitten I got, or owned, I think um, it was number 681, I think. I mean, let me look back on the other video and I think I've actually showed the certificate of what number that was. Do, 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 oh. Can't see much yet, but let's see what we got here. We've got the little, little certificate. Look at what this is, says. Oh, the LNER uh, uh, IE4 class, 462, 4464 Bitten. Wow, that looks so cool. And if you can see, this is actually number, if it would focus, uh, 681 out of 1,000. So that is actually pretty good. I mean, I was hoping maybe a lower number, like maybe, um, I mean, I know my friend, uh, Frank, who actually got this bitten for Christmas, and he's got number 12. So that's a very low number. So well done to him for having that. So we're going to open up and see what number this one is, because I actually didn't actually check the certificate when I actually gave this a test one. I just got it out of its box and I just test it just to see if it works, and it does. So I'm actually um, quite curious of what the certificate number actually says. It might be higher, it might be lower. I mean, we don't know. But let's get her out of its box. I'm just really excited. So we're going to gently do it, because I, re I really, this is the most nicest, well, one of the nicest box I've ever, ever reviewed. I mean, the nicest box I've ever reviewed was actually uh, the Golden Flying Scotsman uh, in the uh, American uh, livery and the American look and style. And that was actually, pretty, that was a really nice box. I do have to say and I'm actually kind of struggling to get this out so oh no there we go so let's grab it and pull it out there we go so it's kind of like the review I did last time as I showed you before uh, so we'll move this out of the way because I really do like that box but here we go my friends oh, are you ready because this this does look nice doesn't it so let's uh, lift it up do, 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 do. there we go oh it's upside down let me just move it the other way let me just turn it this way there we go and I didn't know I'd actually put it in upside down. So oh, there we go. Look at that. And this is number. Let's have a look. The certificate says duh, duh, uh, number 823. Oh, so this number is actually higher. It doesn't matter though. I mean, it's just a, it's just a certificate really. I mean, it doesn't really say much. I mean, as I said, uh, but I do have a friend called Frank. Well, overall Frankie. And he's got a bit, he got a bit in for Christmas. Uh, Christmas, sorry, I can't speak properly. He got a bit in for Christmas and his number was actually number 12 out of a thousand. So Frank, I'm actually kind of jealous about that, but never mind. Uh, but I'm happy for you, mate. I'm happy that you've got a bit, and so thumbs up for that. Um, got this like little manual thing. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna actually read all of that. I mean, one day I will. Um, but there it is. There's bitten. Let me just move it across for you, so you can, uh, guys can actually see. Let me just take this off. There we go. But there it is. There's bitten in its box. Looking very nice. Very nice indeed. So uh, let's get it out and see what she looks like, because. Um, I actually, I mean, I, was, I know what it looks like because I saw my, I had my old bitten, but um, but this is the new one, so this is much more better. So I'm just going to gently get her out of a box. Just want to be very slowly and careful because I don't want to cause any more damage like I did with the last one. So let me just get a good, a good, get good grip on it. So there we go. Look at that. Wow, let's have a little focus. There it is, looking very nice. I do love the LNER blue and the red wheels, and I do like the, I do, I do prefer A4s when they're non streamlined. So, uh, well, like the, the panels on the side of the wheels, so you can't really see them. I do prefer A4s when they actually show off the wheels, like the Union of South Africa or uh, Dwight David Eisenhower or Sir Nigel Graysley. But this, wow, it just looks so good. And she does come with her second tender, but I'll show you guys that in a second. But that is absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen an E4 so beautiful. 
I mean, I did own a few A4s um, in the past, but obviously they all broke because I didn't look, I didn't know how to look after them properly. But now that I'm older, I know that these things do need a lot of care and delicacy. I'm going to try and zoom in on the name plate so you guys can actually get a good shot of, uh, of her name. Let's just see if I can actually get that in focus. Um, it might it might be a bit blurry. Oh no, oh no, there we go. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? So you're bitter and lovely. I love how beautiful the nameplate is. And it does show off in this light as well. It does look beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And you've got the plaque on the side of the boiler. I can't actually read that because um, I'm, I'll probably get like a close up picture of what the plaque actually says. But obviously that's like way too small for actually to read. And her number is 4464. Lovely. Built on Doncaster. And L and E are on the tender. Lovely. Looking very nice. So what we're going to do now is, oh no, hold on, I need to show you guys the second tender. I just almost forgot, so let me just zoom uh, the camera out again. There we go, and let's have a look at its second tender, because I actually have uh, two Flying Scotsmans that have uh, two tenders, um, and they all look the same, except the other one's gold. But this one, this tender, looks absolutely cool. I mean, I've never seen a tender in blue before, especially the, like a water tank tender. I mean, that just looks very pretty. And it does look very, very nice. It does look very fast as well. I never said fast in a, in a tender, but it does look very nice. Let's see if we can try and zoom in again so you guys can actually get a close-up of the tender. So that's the back of it, the side. I do like that badging, though, because normally on my uh, Scotsman's tenders it says 4472. But it's just like a nice little badge. I don't actually know what that badge is. I mean, is, is it to do with British Railway or, 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 or something? I'm, I have no idea. But... Oh, it just looks so good. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to be fitting a sound chip now in Bitten. Uh, I'm actually not going to get this on camera because I don't like doing all the mechanical uh, serious stuff on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the camera for a bit, fit a sound chip inside Bitten and make a digital and then put on the, uh, no, and then put it in the reviewing box and then stick on the rolling road and then we'll get to the uh, layout. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Right, my friends, I've just finished fitting uh, the sound chip in Bitten's Tender. We'll test the sound out in a second, but I just thought we'll get it in the reviewing box. But because she's so long, I couldn't actually fit her in. So it's a little bit of a struggle, but she does look fantastic. And look at the amount of detail. Sorry if my hands are very shaky because I'm just so nervous. But look at the amount of detail there is on this engine. It's just so good. And she has got cab detail as always. I do love the cab detail. I'll give you guys a quick close-up of the tenders in a second, but look at that. It just looks so beautiful. I'm just surprised at how long this thing is, because it, it, it just about fits in the reviewing box. Well, nearly. But it just looks so beautiful. I just love the way it looks. I've always loved the A4s in the L and ER blue when it's non-streamlined. I mean, I can only think of one engine that actually looked like this, and that was Sir Nigel Gresley back in the old days. I think that was like the, maybe the 70s or the 80s. Can't actually remember. But she does look fantastic. And the reason why I do like Bitten is because it's actually uh, my girlfriend's favourite um, A4 as well. So that is actually pretty special. But that just looks super nice. Not sure you'll be able to see. But, um, actually, no, I think you'll be able to see. There's a little bit of cab detail. Well, actually, no, there's a lot of cab detail in there. just you can't really see it from this angle. But she does look good. And there's a little, little, little badge here that actually, believe it or not, my uh, twin brother Thomas uh, actually worked on Bitten. He actually uh, fitted that little... Uh, plaque um, on Bitten when he uh, when it was at the uh, Midhands Railway at Ropley. Um, it says Doncaster at 19, I think it's the 1938. Um, I can't actually make it out. It's, the writing is just way too small. And I thought I'd give you guys a quick close up of the little badge on the side of the boiler, but because the writing is just way too small, I can't actually read what it actually says. But you can actually see the detail and, and you can actually see the rivets uh, on the side of the boiler, which I think looks fantastic. Uh, we'll get a close up of the wheels as well, so you guys can actually see all the, like, the mechanical mechanism parts that move. And that just looks so splendid. I mean, I'm, I'm actually filming this on my iPhone, and I actually never actually took the time to say how well my phone actually films. Um, Especially in, um, a model of, of, of a Hornby model, so that, that, that's actually pretty good. I'm actually really surprised that my phone is actually be able to film all of this. So I thought that would be a good, a good chance to actually test my phone skills out because my camera is not actually very good at close-up shots because it's always so blurry or just a little bit out of focus. So I'm actually fo filming this on my phone, so I hope you guys can like forgive me. Um, oh dear, there's actually a little bit of a mark on the tender. Is that, is that permanent or is it just... Oh no, it's just a little bit of like sweat while I was putting the engine on. Okay, I'll just rub it off. That's good. But here's a close up of um, my finger was in the way. Here's a close up, close up, sorry, of Bitten's water tank tender. I think I'm a little bit too close. Let me just zoom out just a little bit. But there you go. There we have it. That's that's better, isn't it? But that looks so. I'm, again, I'm sorry if I'm very shaky. I'm not very good at holding a camera or a phone. 
but that looks absolutely splendid. I love the colour in this, it's just so good. And that detail, as I said, the detail is magnificent. I cannot wait to test the sound out. So I'm actually going to put this on the rolling road, but I'm actually going to be removing the, ten the, the second tender so we can actually fit Bitten on the rolling road. So let's give that a try then, shall we? Okay, Bitten is now on the rolling road, ready to give her a test to see if it actually moves. So I'm actually a little bit nervous. So last time I actually did this, um, the rods got caught up and got completely ripped apart. So anyway, uh, let's give her a little bit of power to see if she actually moves first. So I'm a little bit nervous. Here we go. Come on, move. Oh, she's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's move a little bit more faster. That's more like it. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Give it a little bit more speed and power because it's an A4. They're designed for speed. It's running really smooth. I've never seen something run so smooth in a long time. Well, apart from the Black 5, obviously, that runs really, really well. Um, wow, look at that. It just looks so good. Let's see if I'll try and zoom in for you guys on my phone. No, no fatalities whatsoever. So that's fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop Bitten now. Just make a stop. Stop. Good bitten. Good bitten. There we go. And now we're going to test the sound. Okay, so we're about to test the sound. Let's hope the sound chip works because that would be quite a shame if it doesn't work. So let's press uh, function one on my controller. I've got my controller here on my phone. So let's have a look. So if we have a look at the manual, so function one is the sound. So number one, and then press function. Oh, it comes on. There it is. It's alive. It's alive. It works. Fantastic. Oh, that's so amazing. So lovely to hear an engine burst into life. That is fantastic. So if we go to function two, that is a uh, chime whistle long. So let's have a little listen to that one. See how that sounds. You ready? Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That was incredible. Oh wow, that was a that was an aggressive burst, wasn't it? I like the sound of that one. Uh, what else can it do? Uh, function four. Let's listen to that one. That was a, just a short little toot. This, this thing doesn't have much whistles as the Black Five, but you know who needs all that whistles? What else have we've got? We've got door slam shut, wheel slip, coal shoveling, blow down, safety valve injector, cylinder is that cylinder cock? I think. Brake blower, guard's whistle, coupling clank, fireman's breakfast, and I think that is it. And number 17 is, um, it takes off the, uh, the chuffing sound and just lets it coast, so we know all know that one. Well, that's fantastic. I want to blow this whistle again, see if it works. Here we go. That sounds absolutely magnificent. So let's give it a bit of power and see if she actually moves. So here we go. There we go. The sound is working well for Bitten. Let's give it a little bit more speed. That sounds so epic. You guys can see why I love sound chips in Hornby models. They just give the engine more realism and more character. Oh my god, that sounds so cool! I don't know about you guys, but I'm a man in love right now. So let's blow the whistle again, see if it works. Oh yes. It's so nice to have an A4 with sound, especially an A4 as good as Bitten. Right, well so now, now we know that all works, let's put her on the layout and see what she can do when she's pulling a load of passengers. I think we shall. Let's head over to the layout then, my friends. Okay, I have Bitten and the Black Five on the layout because I thought it would be a good idea to have that two engines are better than one on one review. And plus, these two have a... They kind of have a history, these two engines. So Bitten's got her second tenor. She's pulling four... Uh, red Mark 1s. As I said, this one's actually a Mark 2. This is the only Mark 2 I have. But because the Black 5 is a mixed traffic engine, I thought this one would be good at pulling freight. And it's pulling an actual very special cargo because it's actually pulling this wagon where it actually says XMUX 2019 uh, fan meetup. And on the other side, it's got my Lazy Jet logo. And this is this was actually given to me as a gift from um, Charlie's Train. So a little shout out to Charlie's Trains for giving me this little wagon. And I actually do like that. It's pretty cool. So let's get uh, Bitten moving. So 
so let's put the sound on. Uh, let's go to engine number four and put the sound on. And let's get bitten moving. Are you ready, little one? I'm. Oh God, I'm not very good at holding the phone. But is that in focus? Uh, hopefully it is. Let's get bitten moving. So away it goes. Is it going to go forwards or backwards? Forwards. Ha ha. There we go. Let's give it some speed. And let's get the black five moving. So if we go to select and put the sound on the black five. Which way the black five is going to go? Forwards or backwards? Oh no, the black five is going backwards. No! Forwards, 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 forwards. Silly did his black five. You need to go forwards. Let's play the whistle for the black five as well. There we go. Oh, she's going this siding. Wrong way! Ah! Wrong way! Ah! So now we've got the black five and we've got Bitten moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these guys to it. And I hope you guys do enjoy um, this little running session I have for you. I mean, I think it's a good one. I mean, we've got two fantastic engines. But look how well Bitten's running. And it's, it's actually quite loud in here as well because the sound chips are... They're pretty loud, but it's a good loud. Does that make sense? But that just looks absolutely marvellous. So hope you guys enjoy.
Well, my friends, I've had fun, but unfortunately, it is time to end this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that like button, and make sure you subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.